Today, I'm gonna show you my really simple AI phone bot that allows me to call this bot and answer any kind of questions through a AI voice about a custom knowledge base that can be trained to handle things like customer service calls, sales calls, do outbound prospecting, and all kinds of cool stuff like that. It'll run 24-7, 365. I'm gonna make a future series out of this, upgrading it to do all kinds of things like connect to different kinds of APIs and handle whatever kind of problems your client or customer are facing. Before we get started, if you wanna work with me in implementing a phone bot like this or any kind of other AI automations project, make sure to book a time down with me in the description below. Anyway, let me show you how this works. So I got my phone bot running on a simple server here and now I'm just gonna call it. So you can see I'm calling my bot from Miami right here. I'm gonna put it on speaker. Great. So this is the trial message for Twilio. In order to get into our chatbot, we can just hit a number. How can I help you? Hi, who is this? Hey there. This is Bob, your witty and funny iPhone bot. How can I brighten your day? Uh, can you tell me something interesting? Sure. Did you know that technically the shortest war in history was between Great Britain and Zanzibar on August 27th? Uh, that, that's amazing. Can you tell me another fun fact? Sure thing. Did you know that the Eiffel Tower can be 15 centimeters taller during the summer due to thermal expansion caused by the heat? <laughs> that's fantastic. Can you give me a better fun fact? Here's a fascinating fact for you. There are more right, okay, yeah. So you get the idea. You could basically ask it whatever you want, like you would a normal chatbot, and it'll spit out an answer just like it would ChatGPT, except it's over the phone. Now, granted, it's not the greatest right now, but as I'll go over, there's a lot of different ways you can make this better, and you can have it perform actions, like say, hey, can you book me a time on my calendar for 10 p.m. on Thursday? It'll go through, pull the information from your calendar, and then book that time for you. This is just a really bare bones concept of what's possible, and I thought I would showcase it in this video. So let me show you how it all works. And to do this, we're gonna need a couple of different things here. First thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need a phone number on Twilio. Twilio is a service that I've been using to get a free phone number that you can use to hook up this bot that we're gonna use so it can take calls from our phone. And then we're also gonna need another service called Ngrok. Ngrok is basically what's gonna allow us to tunnel our little local server here to the internet so our Twilio phone can actually connect with our server here. And then you're also going to need this script, which I'm going to have down in the description below, which is basically going to be a really simple phone bot server script here, which is basically just the OpenAI Assistance API layered on top of the Twilio library here. Ngronk and also get our Twilio phone number. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you come on over to Ngronk, it'll basically allow us to tunnel our server onto the internet so our phone number on Twilio can actually access this server. So you come on over to get Ngronk, click on download here and you can pick your preferred platform. I'm going to choose Windows and install it with Chocolaty. To get this to work, I'm going to make a new command prompt running as administrator and then just paste this in here and let Ngronk install. And then we're going to need to do one more thing and that's to add our token. As soon as you log into Ngronk, you'll be greeted with this window here which will have your authentication token. You can make a new terminal inside of VS Code here and just paste in your key. And then when it says authentication token saved, you're all ready to go. You can run the command Ngronk HTTP 3000 and this will allow us to put our local server 3000 on the internet so now anytime we go to this link here it'll basically be like going to our local host server on the internet if you're not familiar with any of this kind of technology or anything it's basically putting our local version of what we're going to be running on our own machine out on the internet so twilio will be able to access our phone bot so now let's head over to twilio and show you how you can get a free phone number to set up this little bot so you're going to want to head on over to twilio and just log in and make an account. We're gonna be using their free plan for this video, so you're not gonna to have to spend a dime to get this to work. And what we're just gonna to wanna to do is head on over to phone numbers here on the left panel, and you'll see that there's a button over here that'll allow you to buy a phone number. You can come into here and you can pick whatever kind of phone number you like. It's only like 
15 a month to get a phone number, which is really cheap. You can pick whichever one floats your boat. And then once we have our number bought, all we're gonna wanna do is just click into our number. So once you have your number purchased on Twilio, you can come on over to the configure tab here and we're gonna wanna make a couple changes. And that's gonna be changing this URL to the Ngronk URL we just made. So if we come on over to here, you can see I have this URL here. I'm gonna copy this URL and then I'm gonna head over here and I'm gonna paste this URL inside of my Twilio app here. I'm gonna do the same thing for both of these endpoints. You're gonna make this the slash voice endpoint if it isn't already the slash voice endpoint already. And then same thing, come down to here and also add in the URL to these ones down here. So the same thing for these webhooks and these webhooks. And then once you have that URL with slash voice installed, we're all ready to go. We can save configuration and we're pretty much done. You'll know it's working once you buy a phone number, come into your active numbers and you see this voice and messaging post hooks here to the ngronk url we just set up slash voice slash voice is going to be the endpoint we're going to use on our local server in order to get this to work and then last thing to set up twilio is you want to come over to the verified caller id section here and make sure you add your number in this list you'll only be able to call the numbers on this list while you're in the free version of twilio so let's make sure you add your phone number here so your call doesn't get blocked by the bot and we should be all ready to go and we can use this little server script here that i have for you guys to download Download in the description below to get our little bot running on our phone number. So you can just copy paste the script I have down in the description below. Then we're going to want to install the dependencies for this script. First of all, make sure you have Node installed. If you don't have it already, you can get it from nodejs.com. First, we're going to want to start off with an npm init y to initialize our package script here. That'll make a very basic package.json for us. And then we can type in npm install express body dash parser open AI and Twilio. If you forget these ones, it's going to be the ones that are right here as part of the script. And this will install all the packages ready for our little bot here. And then the last thing we're going to need is we're going to need our OpenAI API key and our assistant ID. So we can just head on over to OpenAI. And if I log in here, we'll head on over to the API section and then we'll come up here to the assistance tab here and we can just make a new assistant. So I'm going to make a new assistant called phone bot test. We can add all kinds of custom prompts in here to make this as custom and unique as we want. And also in the future, like I mentioned, I'm gonna teach you guys how we can incorporate functions, code, and knowledge retrieval into our phone bot so you can get some really custom cool actions all using voice commands off of a phone number. But for now, I'm just gonna make this real simple and say, so you are a funny and witty AI phone bot named Bob. Always be fun and tell jokes. Sure, we'll go with that for now. We're gonna make our bot here and then we're gonna take our open AI assistance key here and then head on over here and put our new assistance key inside the assistant ID right here. Then lastly, we're gonna need our open AI API key. So if we head on over to our API keys here, we can create a new key. And after we go through the capture, we can just get a new key here and then put it inside of our key right here. Mike from the future here, I made some adjustments to the code and I wanna share with you some of the adjustments I made just so when you get the source code, you kind of know what you're looking at and it isn't different from what I'm going to share. But basically, we have a couple different functions here one to create a thread and then one to query open AI. And then we have our endpoint on slash voice, which is going to accept our voice request from our phone bot here and then respond with our text. What's going to happen is it's going to listen for our voice request here. And then if it finds a voice request, it's going to send that over and make a new thread. So if there isn't already a thread ID, it's going to make a new thread per the OpenAI Assistance API. In order to start a thread, it's basically like a conversation like you would in ChatGPT. You have to create a new thread right here. So we use this create thread function to create a new thread with the OpenAI threads create function here. And that allows us to put in some messages. And then with that, we could take that thread and then we can pass it through our OpenAI query with our speech result that we got from the person as they were speaking. So it's literally just a text-to-speech model there that gets passed through with the thread ID and then that gets sent over to a query open AI request which basically runs the message inside of the thread to then get the response from the open AI assistant so it does a little run function here and then waits until it gets the actual response from the assistant and it sends back that response in the open AI response right here and then we just have the twill bot say it back in voice Alice in the future I plan on getting a lot more technical with this and making it a lot better and then we can allow 
allow it to accept in another question after it says the response right here. And then we can continue on the conversation as such. And then we have some more checks back here to make sure that this does happen inside of this function. And if it doesn't have anything, it'll just ask, how can I help you? That's kind of the function in a nutshell right there for the voice endpoint. And then this is all being ran on a little local port 3000 here. And that's pretty much the entire code. So now to get this running, we just type in node phone bot right here. And then you'll see app listening on localhost 3000 right here. You also have to make sure your ngrok server is also running while you have this localhost running and make sure this URL is the same URL in Twilio. I actually just closed out of it. So I have to actually replace this one with the other URL we just got. Awesome. So once we have this, we have our Ngronk server, we have our phone bot running on localhost 3000. We can then go ahead and call my bot. Whenever you're not on a paid account, it'll ask you to hit a number before you can actually get to your code. So I'm just going to type in a number right you when it starts. You can remove this and then, how can I help you? Hi, who is this? Hey there, this is Bob, your friendly neighborhood phone bot. How can I tickle your funny bone today? Uh, hi, Bob. Can you tell me a joke? Sure thing. Why don't skeletons fight each other? They don't have the guts. That That's a great one, but I think you can do better. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I got plenty more where that came from. Just let me know if you want to hear another joke or if there's anything else I can help with. Um, I want to hear another joke. That isn't bad. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Classic AI. But yeah, you get the idea, right? You can tweak this assistant bot as much as you like to get the bot to basically do whatever you want. And right now it's kind of slow because it's using Alice's voice, which is Twilio's own voice assistant bot here. But in the future, I plan on making the voice a lot better and getting a lot more fine tuned to actually sound like a real person and actually respond in real time. Right now it's not perfect, but like I said, this is just the very early stages of how this kind of stuff works. And you can get all the source code for this project in the description below. So I hope you guys like this little demo of this phone bot. If this is something that has tickled your fancy and want to implement it into your business, make sure to book a time with me down in the description below. We can talk about all that stuff there. And if you did like this video, make sure to drop a fat like on this one. I really am releasing the sauce with this video on AI phone bots. And that's going to do it for me in this one. I'll see you guys in the next video.